Well, if I understand the word <laughs> haunted, yeah, I guess so. So when it came time to investigate the hospital after getting our history lesson, which was very awesome from the mayor of the town, we got all of our stuff inside. It was freezing cold. Once again, every single location that we filmed at this trip was ice cold. But something peculiar happened. So I was upstairs setting up the tripods, and all of a sudden, Jeff, who was downstairs grabbing something, came bursting into the room and said, dude, why are you so mad? Like, what are you doing? And I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? I'm just sitting here setting up the tripod. His face grew absolutely pale. He told me it sounded like somebody, well, it sounded like you were screaming profanities in the room. And I'm like, um, obviously I was not sitting here screaming to myself. I'm not even in a bad mood. Like I'm having a great night. What are you talking about? Which, yeah, that's scary because mimicry and doppelgangers, to me, that's the scariest type of paranormal activity. So the whole rest of that night, I was thinking, if I turn this corner and I see myself standing at the end of this hallway smiling at me, I think I'm going to quit ghost hunting. But almost immediately after Jeff heard those noises, as you're about to see in this clip, the paranormal activity began. It had been quiet the whole time when I was up there alone, but as soon as he heard that screaming coming from seemingly me, stuff really started to take off and we knew we weren't alone. Okay, so we're setting up right now to begin filming. So I was down at the car and come up the stairs. Right when I kind of came up here, I heard this, you know, this is where we're going, Colin, you were in there. And I actually heard like, God damn, fuck, fuck, fuck. Like, you know, the F word. And I'm coming up and I'm like, fuck. And then, oh. And that's what happened. But I heard the rem or the um, music box going off at the rem pod. Oh, oh my god! <gasps> Dude, what's going on? Mark. And then you're like, "What do you mean? You're over there working?" And I said, "Well, why are you swearing? Like, what? What's happening? Why? Why are you mad?" And you're like, "I'm not. I have no idea what you're talking about." And I'm like, "Okay." And then that's where we started. <laughs> So that was really, really weird. I mean, um, I'm not in the business to tell fake tales. <laughs> this is just not our deal. And that was like clear as day to me in the sense of the F word, strung together like, like, oh God, dear, fuck, fuck, all like, like a bunch. But it sounded like me? I thought it was you because it was you. You know I mean? I thought you were obviously saying it. So in my head, I thought it was you. <laughs> but you know, it sounded like you, I think. But now I don't know. That's weird that it also came from here, but I was way down there and this door was shut and you were like in the hall. Yeah, but it made me feel like you were yelling out loud. It, it sounded like that. Not like, not like you were just right here, but it sounded like it was coming from inside the room. You know, like, like if you're way down, you were down here. So if you're way down here, it sounded like you're doing this. Fuck a goddamn sucker, fuck about shit. And then, how you'd hear that on the outside of the door. It was muffled, but loud, right? Mm. I gotta say, out of all, I've said this, people online will know, out of all paranormal phenomena, I think um, doppelgangers and like copycat stuff freaks me out the most. Mm. We've never had anything like this happen where you actually thought that I said well, something. That's true. Yeah. So it's like, I don't know, that's creepy. Mm -hmm. That's like freaking me out right yeah. now, especially being confirmed with the REM pod and the music box. Right. Should we open the door up and yeah. see if anything's sure. going off? Sure. All right, so the clip we just watched <clears throat> is from a YouTube channel called Paranormal Files. Um, they do paranormal investigations. Um, I wanted to um, reference him um, talking about mimicry and um, this serious um, deceit that goes on in the world today um, and, and doppelgangers, etc. Um, there are so many, so many deceived people that they think that they are able to communicate with their, their past loved ones and stuff. <clears throat> Honestly, 
if somebody's already passed over, they're not going to want to be here anymore. Um, I mean, technically, according to the scripture, you are able to speak with um, people who have passed over and died. But face it, you don't know how to do that, okay? You don't know how to do that. I have been <clears throat> deep into occultic knowledge. I have been studying it for very many years. Um, uh, the Bible refers to these mimickers or doppelgangers as familiar spirits. <clears throat> spirits who are familiar with somebody who has passed away or you and your family in general um, they usually have been assigned to you for a specific task to be completed according to the way that it needs to be obviously but um, the bigger picture is um, these things do go around like making people think um, that they're they're God. I've I've went on to I've went on about this before on my channel. Um, no, but like when when you pray to God, like they'll answer you. They'll straight up answer you, and you know, they'll start having you do certain things for them, and eventually entrap you into their their snare. The Bible talks a lot about getting snared by the fowler, um, and how he throws out nets to try to trap people, and. Uh, the Bible says the uh, Satan will, will roams around like a roaring lion, <clears throat> seeking whom he may devour. So, I mean, this is real stuff. Just want to go over um, familiar spirits, and I I got a um, I got a link here pulled up through Bible Answers. I, I skimmed over a little bit. But we're going to jump into that, <clears throat> and we're just going to go over it real quick here. <clears throat> we might not read the whole thing here, but um, we are going to touch on... Um, I, I find that the um, the word is from the Latin, from familiaris, meaning a household servant. Okay. See, it's a household servant here. The word familiar is from the Latin, however you want to pronounce that, meaning a household servant, which means that a household servant, it means that this um, spiritual entity has grown up with you. It has, it knows who you are. Okay. These things are real, guys. All right, that's what it means. It's called the familiar spirit, and it is intended to express the idea that sorcerers had spirits as their servants ready to obey their commands. Those attempting to contact the dead, even to this day, usually have some sort of spirit guide who communicates with them. Um, I walk around all the time, and I constantly hear people talking about spiritual teachers and um, this and spiritual teachers, teachers in general, and I know exactly what they're talking about. See, this is why I was so hard on Jonathan Clegg, um, because the Holy Spirit operates in in a way that we don't need to seek out the things of this world to understand. You know what I'm saying? To understand who he is. We are in him already. We are sanctified. And we proclaim his greatness over everything. And his will done. Already completed. Okay? It's not It's not about any anything that's going to come. Everything has already been done. We are just in a system that is casting off that which is already judged. Okay? It's just that simple, guys. <clears throat> the truth, the people walking in truth know this, but 
the people who aren't walking in truth are easily, very easily deceived by these 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 familiar spirits. Because they might have latched on through a heritage, through a covenant with, you know, some kind of thing that went on between a deal. Um, there's many, many deals going on constantly. Um, there's so many things. Um, Dan Duvall has a really, really good channel. Um, he used to have a lot of stuff up about, like, the selling of parts of people's um, minds um, through the um, uh, satanic kingdom, <clears throat> okay. There, there, there's a really, there really is a satanic kingdom, guys. Okay, and it, it's, it's, it can be over, overcome. It is overcome. It is generally already overcome. Um, I'm just trying to explain to you that you can overcome this, and you can literally go in into any dark room with a light and you can completely extinguish that that darkness okay it's what I'm it's what I'm saying to you these spirits they don't want you to find out who you really are that's their main goal they want you to be left in the dark because only those, it is part of God's plan for people to remain in the dark. Because only those who are willing to seek out the truth and, and diligently seek it out with their heart <clears throat> are, are, are allowed to know. Um, there's no other way that anybody's ever going to know. Um, if you want the truth, if you tru if you truly want to know the truth, then you're going to have to leave thinking, you're going to have to leave the process of thinking that you can lie to help yourself behind, man, because it really doesn't help you. It doesn't help you at all. When, when you walk in the truth, <clears throat> you can't lie. A lie to the world is really a truth in you and all that they needed to be a part of. Okay, like you literally overcome the whole system and you can see it for what it is, okay? It's real stuff, guys. The kingdom of God has already came here and has been established um, through Jesus Christ. He said his work was finished. He said it is finished. And he gave up the ghost. When he gave up the ghost, he, it means that he had us prepared to accept his... Um, Holy Spirit, which is what happened at um, in Acts when everybody got the Holy Spirit. But anyway, we're going to continue on here. And um, Leviticus, it explains here that um, basically all this stuff here just, just explains that um, it refers to familiar spirits. And forbidding to be involved with them. They are abomination to the Lord. A medium is one who acts as a liaison. Supposedly con supposedly contact or communicate with the dead on behalf of the living. In reality, mediums are contacting demons who deceive the mediums. That they are familiar. <clears throat> and can be trusted and believed. The practices associated with mediums and familiar spirits were banned in Israel, and the punishment for practicing such things was death. Okay. Because the wages of sin is death. When you use divination or you um, seek to find the things that um, you don't know and you don't stand firmly and stabilized in what needs to be done then you're out there wandering around like a lost sheep that's what you're doing okay okay that that's exactly what's going on there and you understand the bible at least that much right like you're deliberately disobeying what needs to be done when you do these things Just, just, you know, be content. Rest, man. Kick up your feet, dude. Kick up your feet. 
Put your hands behind your head and just say, you know what? God's got everything under control, man. There ain't nothing to worry about. And you can walk in that. You can walk anywhere in that. And you will be a light. And God will allow you to see the world for what it really is, man. I mean, it, it's it's a place for the glorification of God. Everything is. Everything is a place for the glorification of God. Many people can't see it like that and believe that it's, <clears throat> you know, like awful over in Ethiopia because there's starving children and everything. But this is what the world pumps into your head. Okay. This is why God said that I have called you out of the world. Okay. I have called you to overcome the world. Okay. What it means is, is to be stabilized in his work, knowing that he's, he takes care of us. Okay. It's just that simple. Seek the righteousness of God and all these things will be added unto you. <clears throat> Food, shelter, um, joy, joy in the heart, joy in the mind, um, the energy to do what you need to do, um, the removal of what is causing making you feel like you can't do what need what you need to do it will completely remove that because you will dwell in who you really are see that's all that's all war is that's all war is is you warring against your true self manifesting that out and projecting it onto the world and this is why we have all these wars all these arguments it's, it's because you fight within yourself with the real you. This is why you get hurt. This is why you get upset. It's because <clears throat> you don't want to identify or you fail to identify with how that needed to be done for you to be who you are. And you aren't thankful for it. You aren't forgiven is what it is. You, you you fail to forgive yourself. You know what I'm saying? And you and, and that happening, you you war within yourself. And you, you cast that on others. You know what I'm saying? Because that's that's how the system works, guys. The system cannot stand. It will be a desolate system in the end. Um it, 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 it's, it's built to destroy itself. <laughs> Familiar spirits and spirit guides are under the control of their master Satan. They influence people to spread lies and deceit in order to thwart the kingdom of God. Oh, to, know, to knowingly open oneself to the work of demons is an evil thing let no one be found among you who sacrifices his son or daughter in fire who practices divination or sorcery interprets omens engages in witchcraft or cast spells or who is a medium or spiritist who consults the dead anyone who does these things is detestable to the Lord. and this is the truth man i mean we'll show you right now you know, that's, that's what it is right there. Some avenues through which demons or familiar spirits can gain entrance into a person's life are divination, transcendental meditation, visualization, <clears throat> necromancy, witchcraft, drugs, and alcohol. Um... It's cool to meditate, you know, knowing that um, everything is taken care of in Christ. Um, but visualization is, is a completely different thing. When, when, you, when you look at the world, your senses tell you what you like and what you don't like, what interests you and what doesn't interest you. But the thing is, is, is it's constantly, the flesh is always at war with the spirit. It's never going to change, okay? 
the thing is, is everything's going to be how it needs to be. See, and that's just what it is. Like, you can't be something you're not. And your flesh is always going to want to, you know, live and want to gain and be greedy and stuff like that. Unless you, you know, um, understand you literally understand that God is the head over all of this stuff and you walk in that. Okay. That's what it is. And, and you have absolute peace constantly. And, um, these people, these people, they get so tormented because I know because I can, I can, I can do it myself. The, the vengeance of God is upon these people. Okay, this is this is this is what they're built for. They're built for the people who do know the truth to see this and glorify their God, so that He can see His reflection in them and know that His work is a good work, constantly, forever. See, this is who God is. Okay, we are a part of Him. You know, just like the deceiver is a part of them who are deceived. And if you are a part of him, you can witness the judgment. Okay? It's not a difficult thing to reign with Christ. All you have to do is let him be who he is and accept your position in that. And then he will reign through you and you will see how everything needs to be the way that it is. Okay? It's just that simple. Because judgment is judgment, man. You can't, you can't, it doesn't, it doesn't change, man. It's, it's the real deal. <clears throat> and this one here. We are also on, to be on guard for our struggles, not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of the dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in heavenly realms see these people are so easy to deceive but they're also really easy to um save as well if you truly believe that you are a child of god then you have the power if you have the faith, your faith is strong enough that, you know, if, if you honestly care for somebody enough and you love them enough and you understand that that's God's love in you and you want them saved, there's no way that they're not going to be saved. Guys. Do you understand that? Like, that, that's a deep thing. Like, you need to understand that, dude. Like, it's not a joke. You need to hear this. You need to hear that. If you need to hear it again, rewind it. Because it's the truth, man. We only love because he first loved us. It is his love and his salvation that showed us that we're saved. Therefore, it is his salvation which is introducing them to everything that you are. In that um, circumstance that you want them to be in through salvation. Okay, it's, it's just simple stuff, man. Because God reigns, man. Um, these uh, familiar spirits, they are put in position as exemplifiers. They are the part of a system that needs to be so that judgment is secure and um, so that God's word is true and correct. You know, there's bad things in the world. Guess what? It's the way it is, man. It's the way it is because during creation, during the first six days of creation, um, some of the group of people who were with um, the creators didn't like the way that creation went. So they were cast out of heaven forever, for eternity, never, 
ever having rest because the ones that were okay with it got to rest okay in revelations 14 it explains that these things never rest because it's the mark of the beast it's 666 when 777 is the rest and and, and stability in christ 666 is chaos devastation destruction ruin it's 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 an unrest it's a constantly trying to be something that you're never going to be able to be you know it, it's not it's it's not going to work out because everything is already done earth is just a representation of what happened in the very beginning because God has already completed everything in Revelation 8 1 8 it explains that God is Alpha and Omega the beginning and the ending that which was which is and which will be okay it also says that Jesus went to the place of the skull which is where he was crucified at, which is our place of interpretation, our place of um, perception, or how we think, we act, we move, we do. You know what I'm saying? We rest. Christians rest in God's will already completed for them as a child at the feet of a father being taken care of. It's just that simple, man.